Hello everyone Valley family, Matt Olson here, Paul Ice, we're on my back porch and wanted to give you a little update on our plans to regather. We've been looking forward to that and uh, we have a little bit of a change of plan so we wanted to let you know what's been happening. Every week I'm on a conference call or have the opportunity to be on a conference call with the governor of Colorado and so what we've tried to do is comply with every one of the things they're telling us to do and also with the Department of Health but we have other things we have to comply with as well. Yeah, and actually one of the things that we didn't consider was the layer of the local municipality of the city of Lafayette. We have a great relationship with the Center for Musical Arts and we've been working with them how we could take the next layer, but after discussions with them and the city regulations, we've come to the conclusion that we're not going to be able to hold services regularly, including this Sunday at the Center for Musical Arts. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge disappointment. We'll admit to that. Um, disappointed that uh, Lafayette hasn't opened up as quickly as the rest of the state, but it is what it is. So we, we're gonna make the best of it. We will plan this Sunday to still be coming to you live uh, via the internet and uh, look forward to doing that. Our music team will be putting something together as well as the message but we do plan to get together. So Paul, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that's gonna look like? Yeah, so we said in our last email, we're planning to get together this Sunday. Great news, we're still gonna do that. So this Sunday at 1 p.m., we are going to meet as a church at a local park. And uh, so there'll be an email with a little more detail of what that will look like. Um, tomorrow, you'll get some more details of what that'll be like. But at the Erie Community Center Park, 1 p.m. We're asking anyone that wants to come. Um, that's a Weld County and the restrictions there um, are following the state restrictions that have let up for parks and open spaces. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. We'll be able to do that. Of course, if you have health concerns and issues, we encourage you not to come. I know it's really hard to do. Or if you're just concerned about this or the spread of the virus, uh, to stay home. But, but if you feel comfortable in coming, uh, we're going to try to practice our uh, social distancing and be careful and be wise with what we're doing. If you want to bring food to eat, you can. It's going to be at 1 o'clock. If you want to just come and just sit around and visit with people and that sort of thing. But it'll give us a chance to just be together. And then we'll try to plan on doing that, I think, maybe a couple more times this summer. But we also want to encourage all of you in the month of June to do a few things. Yeah, really what we want you to do is get together as you feel like is healthy and responsible for you. And so that could be a Zoom call, could be a phone call, it could be texting other people, but it also could be in person. It can be meeting at a local coffee shop or meeting at a park or visiting someone's home. Matt, our small groups are starting to meet. Yeah, small groups, Bible studies, people dropping cookies by someone's home, having the family over to eat dinner. But we want you to do what you're comfortable with. And, but as a church as a whole, we've got to, we really want to try to comply with, with, mm -hmm. with what's said. And, and we, we trust that. It's not always going to go the way we planned. But we are excited about seeing you if it works out uh, Sunday at 1 o'clock. And before that, Sunday morning, to, to be live with you uh, via the Internet. We're thankful for that uh, opportunity. So we look forward to seeing you then. Okay, see you Sunday if you can be with us.